Is 2020 the year that Call of Duty Modern Warfare dies? Personally, I think not. At its release, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, the 16th installment of the COD series, netted over 600 million in sales in its first three days alone. This is the third best launch in all of Call of Duty history. This game alone topped Activision's digital sales purchase history and was the best-selling COD on PC ever. But why are people saying that Modern Warfare is dying? We are four months into the life of Modern Warfare and I've already seen two seasons of content drops. But that's a good thing, right? Well, no. In Season 1, we saw three new multiplayer maps, two of which are just fan service maps. Shipment and Crash. We've seen these in previous games, both remastered and re-released again and again. In Season 2, a similar situation of just more fan service and nostalgia. We see the return of Rust as a map and Ghost as an operator. Don't get me wrong, I'll enjoy playing Rust and maybe playing as Ghost, but it'll be oversaturated as an operator and really, it's just nostalgia. They just want you to buy into this for nostalgia's sake. We also see the weapons like the G36C, now known as the Holger, the TAR-21, now known as the Ram-7, and the UMP-45, now known as the Striker-45 Return. We've seen these in previous Call of Duties, and now we're seeing them yet again just reskinned and quote-unquote remastered. It seems like this year, like many previous years, that they're just playing it safe with Call of Duty. They're not stepping out of line to do something new, crazy, and different, or going above and beyond. They're doing what has worked in the past, but it won't work forever, and that's evident more now than ever. On top of the lackluster content additions, we see massive updates spanning on both console and PC. On PC alone, we're seeing updates of almost 70 plus gigabytes and 50 plus on consoles. This is absurd even by a AAA game standpoint. Now, I'm not a video game designer, but I'm sure that there's no need for such massive update sizes. I've even gone so far as deleting games off of my hard drive to make room for the updates on this game. And finally, crashes. Whether it's Dev Error 6065 or the magical Spring Wind Code, we see crashes on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. I mean, I'm lucky to get to the end of a match and not crash. There's been examples where I've played through an entire match of Domination, I've leveled up some guns, and was ready to get my XP at the end of the match, and I crashed. Losing all of that progress and losing all of that XP with nothing to show for it. Now, don't get me wrong, this game has its bugs, it has its issues, but every game has that. I just think this year, it's more prominent than any other Call of Duty game that we're seeing all of these bugs and issues and just lackluster content one thing after another. And unfortunately, that could spell the demise for this year's Call of Duty. If it's not fixed or if it's not addressed completely, you'll start to see players moving away from this. They don't want to play a game that's constantly freezing or crashing, or they don't want to play a game that just recycles old content again and again. That does go without saying that there will be people that play this game despite all these issues. I know a lot of people who will be playing this game grinding for camos or grinding for clips for their YouTube channels or whatever. These people, they'll experience those bugs and glitches, but more often than not, they'll just disregard them and enjoy the game for what it has right now. And that's okay. You can play a game and enjoy it, despite its downsides. You can also not play a game and hate it because of those downsides. In the end, it's up to you as the consumer what you want to do. Personally, I'll be one of the people that plays it in Season 2. When I'm not encountering all of the bugs, I genuinely enjoy this game. It's playable and fun, even whether it's running around on domination capping flags or just grinding out some free-for-all. I genuinely enjoy playing this game and love playing it with friends. It has great potential. So I guess to answer the question of the title, is Modern Warfare dying? No. I do think right now content's a bit lackluster and there's some bugs that need to be worked out, but overall, Modern Warfare is a very playable and enjoyable game, and I think plenty of people have fun in this game and enjoy it. I think we just need to give Activision a little bit more time to polish some of the features and get rid of some of the bugs, and we'll be left with what could be one of the best Call of Duties as we know it. And of course, that's just my opinion. Everybody has their own. Whether you like this game, you know, you love this game, or even if you hate it, that's your opinion. I'd love to hear about your guys' opinion, what you think of the current state of Call of Duty right now, and I would love to hear what your plans are for Season 2. Feel free to leave it in the comments or hop into Discord. We've got the Discord link in the description, and let us know.
And before I go, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. This is one of my first videos that I've actually put out that's relatively high production here on Library and YouTube. And I hope to bring you guys a lot more content whenever I can. It's just a matter of finding the time and really finding a subject to do the content on. I most likely will keep doing it on Call of Duty, but who knows? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.